No, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Let me give a break real quick. Hello, welcome to Tyology. We are doing a, a end of year review. So we're just going to hop into it. First category is album of the year. So we're going to go through our albums of the year. Aaron, what's your album of the year? Yo. Well, I had a top five, actually. Oh, so. go there. You need your top five. All right. So at number five, I got Views. Number four, I got Blank Face LP. Number three, I got Birds in the Trap. Number two, I got Coloring Book. And number one, I got Life of Pablo. Okay. Okay, uh, I actually had a top three for mine. Uh, my number three was actually Another Day in Paradise from Belly. I had oh, wow. uh, <laughs> Birds okay. in the Trap, also okay. by uh, Travis Scott, and then Starboy by The Weeknd. So I only have one album of the year, and that is Frank Ocean Blonde. You would. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke that we ain't gonna talk about right now. But <laughs> all right, so what made you listen to uh, Belly? Uh, I actually found Belly last year from Might Not. Obviously, you guys heard that yeah, song. Yeah. Um, That's so all I, went, I found that. Weekend. I went into Up for Days, liked it. See, he made another one, and uh, I, I think in that one he had like the bars that you know you don't hear from people nowadays, especially with all the mumble raptors. Mm -hmm. Quote unquote. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's what got me to pick Belly up as a top choice for me. So what made you pick uh, Starboy for your album, album of the year? I think Starboy, it's, it's production quality is above everything else. So he has Daft Punk coming on there doing some good that, work. That's, that's guaranteed go. Um, he has, but it, it's also varied. He has, he has a lot of work that's like previous weekend, you know, like Trilogy Days. He, he switches it up and he has um, A Lonely Night. It sounds like an off the wall Michael Jackson kind of song. He yeah. has, you know, got some idea. He has some. He has the song towards the end, "Die for You." You know, where he's actually telling a girl he's in love with her, and do all that shit for her. So it's mm -hmm. it's more well-rounded album that everyone can enjoy, as just opposed to just Salt Weekend. Fan. I like that song. What's that song? The one with Kendrick? Yeah, Sidewalks. Sidewalks. That's, yeah. See, that, that's another one right there. That's he's, another one. he's branching out different directions for everyone to grab a hold of. I can't think of this. So there are some songs on there I like. For some reason, can't think of the names. It's that one. Uh, he's like talking about like. Woke up with a new bitch. That's awesome. Ordinary life. That's what it is. I was like, woke up with a new bitch. That's all you had to do. I think that's what it is. You talk about getting head and just getting driving and everything. It's, yeah. it's not an ordinary life. <laughs> well, what's your type of, which one you want to speak on? Um, shit. I just based mine off of, I think, what I listened to the most this year. Okay. So, um, I mean, Life of Pablo, like, that's how I'm going to fuck with really hard this year. I mean, it had, I felt like, there wasn't a song I skipped on that album, honestly. From beginning to end, I mean, Ultralight Beam, we saw Chance emerge based True. off his guest verse on that song. True. I mean, we had... Because Chance. We had, I mean, Panda was already a hit, I guess, but <laughs> Panda, like, the fact that Kanye mixed that song on, uh, was it, uh, Father Stretch My Hands Part 2? Part 2. That just Dude. made that song go up more because Panda was already out, and I feel like after that, that shit just blew up, yeah. you know? We had that. Uh, we had a good guest verse from Cuddy on Father Church My Hand Part 1. Cuddy was singing on there. Okay. So, I mean, I was fucking, because I was like, I'm a Cuddy fan too. So, I heard that. It kind of reminded me of the old Cuddy, kind of like some of the Cuddy got on his newest album. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit. From feedback, um, Fuck My Life Up. So, from the beginning, you were like. The whole, the whole album, I just, I was riding waves. <laughs> I was riding with that whole album. Um, I guess I'll talk about Views was a bit of a disappointment. Only reason I really put that on there is because I fuck with a lot of the singles that came off that album. True. So it's kind of hard for me to pass that up. But as a whole album. I doing this. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, One Dance, Controller. I even like Too Good. I like uh, Fill a Ways. That's crazy. Um, West so Roads. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, it's weird because I like all the songs. But overall, I was still kind of disappointed by that. I, I felt that one was too too sing songy. He, yeah. went, he went from, if you're reading this, so that was no, that's, rap, and then he switched yeah. it, does this, and then does you know, a few rap songs. Like that's a, that's a classic I feel, album. I feel like that's Drake's like, formula. It's like, give us the, the like the street shit, and then on his album, his his major albums, give us like that like singing, like radio play kind of shit. I love you, you go on two legs. Type shit. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Birds in the Trap, I mean, that's another one that's like, I don't really skip any songs on there. Same so I fuck with that. So my album of the year was on uh, Frank Ocean. Like you said, like from beginning to end, it's just like it's almost flawless in like how it's delivered. His his wordplay is ridiculous. Like he like 
it's a point I don't know what he's singing about, but I have to like hit up Genius and be like, all right, what what is what is he detailing all these songs? Nice is like my favorite song by far. Nice, nice on that album is like my favorite song. Wow. Sick free goes pretty hard. I would definitely say it's suspect, but like the subject matter he's talking about, but like this, you, you, over, you overlook it because it's like <laughs> it's song, the song is so good. It's like I don't give I don't care if like it is about a guy. It's like too damn good for my homo folks up there. Go for it, I guess. <laughs> no pauses needed. So if you had to pick one, what would you pick? How are your five? Oh, Life of Pablo. Life of Pablo? Yeah. Start Weekend. Start with yeah. So I don't know. Out of those three, you can't go wrong with like, if you had like one major one, you can't go wrong. Those are all good. All the yeah. albums mention the albums I listen to. But I am good. Besides the belly one. But I, I fuck with some of the belly songs I know. I only, I only, I <laughs> only had one song I heard. I was with uh, him and Nav. That's a whole nother thing. That, 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 that was another thing I liked about Birds in Trap too. That put Nav on a more... Yeah, 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 that was hella yeah, dope. With I was in like, the trap. I lost it. I was like, now nah, like, ah! and, and to make it better for him, you know, they made a video come. So we actually you know, put his face on the public. You know, About time. Video. He was behind behind Master Mirrors. Like, Alright, so that's the end that's the end of our uh okay, album of the year. So leave in the comments what you think your album of the year is. If you think that's any right. of our lists suck, go ahead and say something about it. I dare you. And uh <laughs> thank you. That's, uh, a, that's good. <laughs> Were you doing it? Yes! Oh, my bad.